Descenders, true to their name, are normally drawn with a descending stroke direction. But why let that prevent us from experimenting? <laughs> Why not? OK, now I'll do the same stroke for an X and illustrate the pen manipulation afterwards. The pen angle at the beginning means the hand must be turned right around, although tilting the paper is possible if that feels uncomfortable. Along the bottom curve, the nib angle changes so the straight part of the stroke is close to the thinnest stroke of the nib. The serif at the top is the same manipulation as on the end of the strike and twist stroke. In letters like this, it makes sense to draw the dangerous line first, even if that deviates from normal ductus. The slower line is easier to position afterwards. But what if the letter is inside a word? In creative play, the rules may sometimes be discarded along with the guidelines. Here I'm writing the word yesterday, which has a Y at the start as well as another at the end. The sweeping entry stroke at the beginning did not have to be carefully aimed. It could finish more or less anywhere. But the one at the end, to be honest I hadn't thought about that for this impromptu demo. Only as I progressed did I think the final Y ought to match the first. But that would be a very dangerous line to position correctly. Maybe I'd better play it safe with a normal Y. But whew, that was a lot more risky despite this extra tick giving me a small margin for error. I did not allow the risk of ruining a sheet of paper prevent me from playing, and this attitude is one way I have advanced my game. A similar stroke for a G. You can be much more carefree with such strokes when you write without guidelines. But it's also a fun challenge to make a pencil dot and practice your aim, trying to finish the stroke on the mark. 